Dax the Animal again with Chapter 2-2 on Resident Evil 4, Professional, No Damage. Unlike the previous chapter, this one is not, it's really not easy going at all. There's a couple tricky sections. This is the chapter that ends with the cabin siege. You know, I'll, I'll talk about that a lot when we get there. For this section, you can choose to kill all these enemies if you want. They drop some goodies. Uh, they're not that hard to deal with. But I opted for a quicker way. Just shoot that wagon and hang to the left. Because it'll kill all the enemies towards the left. And then there's some stragglers on the right. Just, you know, hang left so Ashley doesn't do anything dumb. I recommend not fighting them because they can sprout Plagas Welcome. after you kill them. And that's always bad news when Ashley is around. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'd say just get in and out of there as quickly as possible. <laughs> Thank you. Come back. Upgrading the shoddy a little bit, because the strategy for the cabin is to get as many kills as you can as quickly as possible. I broke that box again. Sometimes an item will respawn in there, even though I broke the box earlier. We got lucky that time. Got some handgun rounds. And speaking of items respawning, you can shoot this and a spinel will be in there again. We got one earlier, now we get another one. Just, you know, make sure you don't, make sure you don't drop in the flame. This is another part you can do quickly or you can kill everything. This time I actually opt to kill stuff. That enemy could have sprouted a Plagas. That's why I told Ashley to wait at the door. But I got lucky, it did not. Do a little sniping here. You could just, you could enter that door, run to the right, and avoid all this fighting. It's up to you, a lot of choices in this game. Sometimes this enemy does not sprout a Plagas, that time he did. Whenever he does, he just kind of runs down and <laughs> runs along that fence, he grinds the rail. Just wait for him to start climbing. Shoot him in the head again. You don't want to go around those traps on the ground on the right, because Ashley is always a little bit to your left. So if you run around them on the right, she'll probably step in them. So I hang to the left. Whenever they try to do their fire breathing trick, I just shoot. You can shoot them with anything. Even a regular pistol round will do. Shooting right here is a mistake because of the geometry on that window. Even if you line up a shot with that dude's head, it probably will just hit an invisible wall. So move forward a little bit. Snipe him, snipe this guy that's guarding his barn. He's probably mad because I stole all his stuff earlier. And again, this is another part where you could just run through. You could have ran through pretty quickly, threw a flashbang, climbed up the ladder. But I like to take this part a little slower. That guy can especially be a problem later, so I like to snipe him. Sometimes he'll sprout a Plagas as well. I got lucky he did not. Getting the flashbang ready just in case. Though I end up not actually needing it. You can run straight to the ladder here, and because that guy's just standing back there pointing, Ashley is safe. I wait for her to climb up, knock the ladder down to delay him. Get my shoddy ready, open up this cabinet, and then I tell Ashley to wait. Wait. Because there's two enemies that will throw stuff at you here. Once you knock them down, you can tell her to follow you. You got plenty of time. So that enemy I sniped earlier, the one that I said could be a problem, that's the guy that's down here and he will throw a scythe at you. And it sucks. If it doesn't hit you, it'll probably hit Ashley. And we're coming up on the cabin, and that'll be the end of this chapter. It's a short one, but it's going to take more practice than most of them. That last section I did, you might find it to be a little more trickier than it looked. Same thing with this section. 
All right, you want this to go as quickly as possible. So shoot the boards out of these windows so that the enemies will come in right away. Don't bother collecting stuff up here. There's grenades sitting around, but we already have so many. You want to make sure you get here with all the resources you're going to need. Now, any enemy here can sprout Plagas. They will only, you, uh, however, there will only ever be two of them at a time in the building. So once I saw two right there, I just went ahead and threw a flashbang and killed them instantly. And these enemies were stunned down here from the flash, so I ran down the steps knowing it would be safe. I don't know why that bookcase just exploded. The spread on the shotguns in this game is insane. It's this combination of distant accuracy and spread that makes the shotgun, every shotgun in this game, so overpowered. It's ridiculous. You'll notice I'm using hand grenades. They have a huge radius. They'll kill several dudes. They'll kill people you can't see that are off to the side. Switching to the rifle here is a risk because it's bold action. If another enemy had ran up on me right there, I probably would have been hit. So I, I recommend just not doing that. I did it because the rifle will take out the Plagas in one shot. But you know, do so at your own risk. Same thing with shooting these enemies in the heads when they're running up the stairs. You're probably better off, I'm just trying to kill them quicker, but you're honestly better off aiming at their torso or legs to make them fly down the stairs because you don't want them to sprout a Plagas right in front of you. It'll mess every, it could mess everything up. Now, the reason you want to do this as quickly as possible is because it'll, it'll just end. It just ends at a certain point. And if you take too long, enemies start coming in upstairs. They start placing ladders against the cabin and climbing in upstairs and then it becomes pure chaos. As you have multiple windows up there, plus enemies coming up the steps, it you'll probably get hit at that point. And there you go. If you're aggressive enough, you won't even have to deal with the upstairs enemies. I'll see you for the next one.